Hey, so my wife and I uh, today teamed up to and managed to pull the um, rear deck lid spoiler off our brand new 2018 Honda Clarity. And so I went to work figuring out how to stick it back on there. Um, as you can see, I've already got the pieces all off, so you're going to kind of be seeing the reverse uh, putting it back on, but I figure seeing what's in there, you'll have a much better idea of what it takes to get it off of there in the first place. Um, so right now, I've just gotten the uh, spoiler back on, and the one thing I would note, um, two things I would note, the first is that the grommet for the um, tail light wire is under here. It's a little bit of a pain to get back into place, but um, obviously you need to do that to keep water out. And then the other thing is, um, I don't know if you can see here, but the there's four screws on um, little nuts that slide into place in there. I slid them all the way um, in their little holder but you want to keep it out uh, just a little bit. I think there's actually little tabs that it slides along, so it should snap into place, but not all the way into place. Um, I think I'll be able to fish them over with a hook or something in there. All right, so then next up is going to be putting this main large piece back on. Oops, I'll lose my screws here. All right, and you can kind of see it's just got those push-in things. When it comes to removing it, you just kind of got to pull on them real hard. Um, that's about all there is on that piece. Um, but I'll, you'll see that to get it off, on one side, I had to remove these covers. Um, so over here, I removed them. And then after I had it loose, I found that on this side I didn't have to completely remove it. Um, there might be a way to do it without removing the whole thing, but, um, you know, this is what worked best for me. Um, these, were a real, these were a real bear. You can see they have these, um, these tabs that just kind of push in uh, to the bar here. They don't really have a good way to release them. And so that's why I didn't want to mess with this anymore. On the other side, I broke this, this matching tab off. So, you know, that sucks. All right, so this is just gonna push back into place. You have to avoid here. You have to work around the handle here. I don't know why they didn't make this easier to remove, but it's not too hard to work around either. All right, so I'm gonna put that into place and then I'll be back. All right, we've got that back into place. This piece just snaps back up around the handle. You do have to pop it down. It's got a little screw slot in there just to pop it loose. You do have to loosen and pull that out to get the piece off. All right, I got it back up there. Oh, sorry, focus. Um, I realized I forgot to say what actually happened. I was taking the car, this car out of the garage, unbeknownst to my wife, who hit the garage door opener inside, thinking she was opening it because she was leaving, and she actually closed it right on, right on me backing out. It was really bad timing because the, the whatever the sensor hadn't been tripped yet and it caught you know the garage piece got right under the edge when it did trip and then it goes back up and just lifted it right off um, this is about the worst of it some scratches here and then there's a little bit I doubt you can see well maybe you can see it there's some scratch there um, pretty sucky for a three-week-old car but at least we did it together. All right, so that's in place. Next up, I'm gonna pop these 
in to get these off you're going to want to work around you can see these tabs so you'll be pushing down on this the one that's kind of underneath and then it's got the same kind of well not quite the same kind of tab it's also got tabs underneath on that piece which you can see there and you can also work those loose kind of kind of in the same way by squeezing in on the back side um, all right, I'm gonna do this, put this one back in the other one. The other thing to note, um, to fully remove that, there is a tab on, the, on this piece right back under here. So it would go right there. You can see the, you can see the un, inside of it there. I used a screwdriver to push on that a little bit and to work it out a little bit too, but that one goes over here on this side um, so be aware that that's kind of hidden back there and I'll be back after that okay so before I started putting everything back together I should have gone ahead and made sure I could put these uh, sorry lights bad there put these screws back in um, because the nuts weren't lined up real well. Maybe you can see it better over here. It's one there and one there. Well, happily I was able to get a hook in there, this guy, and slide them over. Um, they were, what, I think, well, I don't know what the metric is, but I had a 5 16th bit handy and it fit real close. Um, next up, I didn't show putting these guys back in because these were actually the first things I removed. I wish all fasteners could be like these because you just have to hold the outer circle and unscrew it and then it slides right out. Um, so those guys were a cinch. I started there and then couldn't get any traction on this so I decided well the center panel which is what we're up to now is the one to work on next. Sorry. Focus. Focus. Alright. And this time I'm going to count. It has the one, two, three, four, five fasteners to pop into place. Um, as well as clips on the end. Now it has it has a screw slot, a screwdriver slot there, but I didn't I didn't have any luck with that without feeling like I was going to really mar the plastic, so I just kind of pulled up from under, sorry, pulled up from under here and popped out the, um, the tab that was there and then kind of the same thing there and then, then I worked it out in the middle to give a little more flex um, to pop this, these also, these tabs also popped out from this side and that side and that side. Sorry, it's evening and dark and oh, whatever. Alright, so I'm going to put that back on and then we should be pretty much done. Alright, so I got it all snapped back together. I'm just going to show you real quick that screw slot that I was, ah, oh, it's probably too dark now. Well, Anyway, you'll you'll see it on there. You can get a screwdriver in there, but I didn't have much luck with that. Um, son of a... There we go. Um, anyway, hope this helps somebody out. I know I was looking for how to get started um, when I first pulled it pulled it up. So again, I guess how to get started. If we can ever focus again here is. Pop and loose here, right up, right up by the glass. Grab, pull, and then underneath, pop there, and then same on the other side, and then work it from there. Um, I did this without any of the, you know, the prying tools. They have like plastic coated prying tools that won't scratch. I did it all with my hands, um, and honestly, it wasn't too bad. I've had some harder panels to get loose on other cars. So, anyway, hope it helped.